Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be taking a look at the new a new flight controller. It's actually an all one flight controller from Dal RC. It's called the F405 AIO from Dal RC and it's a pretty interesting one. Now they've recently released this three boards here. We have a 4-in-1 ESC which is Dal RC engine. I'm pretty sure most of you've heard of this. This is the second best ESC I've ever tested. Um, however, this is the only ESC from those two that I have tested in real life also which it just performs absolutely spectacular it's on my favorite quad the ultimate freestyle build with the frog so this one's pretty good it's very good actually and this is a v2 now the newer stock is all v2 they have changed the capacitor rate to be larger and which in theory is a lot better so that's one thing this is the flight controller just a basic flight control and they, these two just connect via pin and they keep the overall stack absolutely phenomenally clean and slim so this whole stack right here just takes 13 millimeters of stack height, which is pretty insane for, for, for a setup like this. And not only this, your OSD has a 9 volt regulator on this flight controller, which is just awesome, like absolutely phenomenal. It was one of the best features of the old Matek F405. However, that one has been discontinued because it had a, a very sensitive gyro and bad ESCs tend to create a lot of problems. However, here we have the MPU 6000 gyro, which is the beautiful, awesome, non-super sensitive gyro, which most of us come to love and uh, just a headache free experience. So let's put these on the side. They've also released this flight controller. This is like I mentioned before. It's a Dal RC F405 all-in-one flight controller. And as you can tell here, it seems to be conformal coded somewhat, which is pretty nice to see actually. Now let's take a look at this. Now obviously it has a pretty nice and unique little design here. And uh, let's just quickly talk about what it comes with. It just comes with these little rubber dampeners, little gummies. So let's just put them all to the side here. I really like the red though. And they feel pretty not too soft, but like just this perfect uh, amount of um, softness. I think that's the word. Anyways, let's get started here. So as you can tell, it's an all-in-one flight controller, which is basically just a flight controller, OSD, and a PDB all built into one board. Now, as you can tell here, we do have current sensing, which is going to be super awesome. And um, as we could tell, let's just check out their orientation. So here's the arrow. This is how it would be installed in most of your quads. This is how it should be installed. And we do have motor one two, three, four, perfect. That's perfect beta flight. So you don't have to be messing with this stuff. So now let's go ahead and take a look at the pads here. Now, as you can tell here, we have the positive for the ESC and the negative for the ESC on each side of the board. And uh, you can see here where it says, I think this is an E1. I don't know why they have an E, but anyways, E1 means motor one and RX2. And you're going to see RX2 pad on every single one of them. This is where you would connect your ESC telemetry. So they've thought about this and this is pretty awesome and very good to see. Um, not only that it has telemetry, they're stating theoretically that each pad can withstand up to 50 amps. So this board in theory, or just on paper, saying that it could withstand 200 amps of current passing through it, which is pretty insane. But this is just all on paper and it's just, uh, it could be true, it could be false, but you know, all of them say stuff like that. So in theory, it has a 200, max, 200 amp max uh, capacity, which could flow through this board, which is pretty insane. And something which is pretty cool also, it takes a, I think it said 3 to an 8S LiPo. So that's just crazy. I mean, the input on this. So they're, they're using very good voltage regulators on board from reading the specs here. And uh, as you can tell, it does have OSD. And we do have our boot button right there, USB off to the left. Beautiful, very well thought out. We have a current sensor, awesome. And now let's just begin with the pads from here. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. So here we have ground, ground, okay, 5 volt, 5 volt, SCL and SDA. This is where if you wanted to connect a GPS, you could to you could do that in these two right there. And then here we have TX3 and RX3. So this is UART3 up here. And then we jump into another ground, ground, 5 volt RC. So these two are ground, and then we go here, but this is 5 volt. RC, RC, this one is where you would connect your S bus. Do not connect I bus here. Just connect your you know, what is it called? The FR Sky S bus to RC. Uh, so, cause this is the one that's gonna be inverted. So if you're on I bus, just go with any RX pad other than this RC pad. And here's a 3.3 voltage regulator. This is if you're gonna be using Spectrum. And uh, if you're using Spectrum, you'd wanna connect it all the way here. Now actually you wouldn't wanna connect anything on RX2, especially if you're using the telemetry for the ESCs. So what you'd want to do is, I think this is RX4. Let me just double check this. So it seems to be RX4, this one, but it's very hard. Mine's, the, the writing is kind of gone. 
But if it's also going on yours, I'd recommend you connect your iBus or SBus that's not inverted, especially iBus, to here RX3. This is where you'd want to connect your iBus right there. And um, yeah, other than that, everything is just TX, TX pads. You don't really care about this stuff. So here's also a current pad. For some reason, if you needed the current reading to go somewhere else, you can go ahead and grab it from here. So that's pretty cool. Uh, let's take a look at this side now. So this is this is where this is the front side now. So what do we have? We have ground, and then this one here. This is the pretty interesting part. This is what I really like about this. This thing has a five volt and a nine volt regulator on board, so you can choose between a five volt or a nine volt for the camera or the VTX. So you don't have to give the VTX raw battery voltage, thus increasing your chances of seeing FPV video noise, which I really like about this flight controller. So here we have it. Uh, so here it's automatically set to for some reason nine volts, I think. Yep, it's set to 9 volts here for the camera. Uh, that's totally fine. Make sure your camera can take 9 volts. If it cannot, just undo this solder and then solder it with the 5 volt. You'll see three pads here. Uh, the middle one, you have to bridge it with the left if you want 5 volts, but currently the middle one's a bridge with the right one, which is 9 volts. So this is a 9 volt, and this is ground, and this is cam, and this is F cam. Now, what is F cam? F cam is used to control your camera's OSD. So this is where you would put the wire of your camera OSD if you wanted to control it through there. So that's pretty cool. I really like that. Now here we have another ground, uh, 5 volt or a 9 volt, but it's currently on 9 volt, which is very nice to see. VTX, now this is where the yellow line would go uh, from your VTX to this flight controller. And then the yellow wire from your camera would go here. So the yellow wire from your camera, the video in, which is cam, would go here, pass through this OSD and pop out of this VTX to the VTX and go down to your goggles. So this is where the yellow line would be and this is the power, which is 9 volt and this is ground. And what do we have here? We have another TX5, I think. Yeah, TX5 and RX5, if you wanted to use smart audio, uh, they even prepared a UART for you here, it would be like on UART 5 here. So that's that's very nice to see. And what do we have here? We even have up to six motors. We have motor 5 and motor 6 over here. That's pretty cool. What do we have here? Here we have another setup for 3.3 volts up here. And here's a clock. We don't really need that. And there's also, they have not forgotten about a buzzer and a LED, which is very nice to see also. I really like that. So as you can tell here, this is the, this is where you connect your buzzer. Buzzer posi minus, buzzer positive. Or I could be wrong. This could be battery voltage, but I highly doubt it. I think this is where the buzzer would go. And then here we have our LED 5 volt and ground. So this is the LED signal pin. If you want, if you had some LEDs on your flight controller, that's where you'd connect it. And uh, overall, the board looks absolutely phenomenal. Uh, I really, really am interested in this, and I really like this. And really nice to see the diode right there. Okay, that's very good. Uh, this can protect the board from a reverse polarity, possibly, possibly not. But it's very nice to see. It's probably a TVS diode, but I don't think it's a TVS diode. TVS diode is kind of like. In a way, it kind of protects against high voltage spikes, but I don't know if it is or not. Um, and you do have some filtration on board. It's nice to see. Not mu not as much as I'd like to see, but it's nice to see. I think these uh, voltage regulators on board should do an absolutely phenomenal job, and they put the proper um, voltage regulators here. So overall, this board is absolutely phenomenal. It looks very nice. It took the best of the best and put it all into one package. And uh, I'm very excited to actually start testing this. And it's going to be absolutely phenomenal and interesting. So, well, that's it, guys. That's all I have to say until we start testing it and building it. Um, I will be having, I will be bringing some of these, especially these, into the web shop for absolutely cheap. The iOS app has been released. Make sure you download it because I'm going to be doing giveaway for the application users. I'll have that up in the next video. But currently, uh, yeah, this thing is hopefully it's going to be a beast. Um, I haven't seen any issues about it just yet. And um, yeah, I can't wait to get it started. I can't wait to play with it, really, to be honest. This is going to be pretty fun. So that's going to conclude it for this video, guys. I really can't do anything else right now to it. And I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I really hope it helped someone out there. And if you guys have any questions or any suggestions, feel free to let me know. And please consider joining my Patreon. Help support this mission. You, you don't only just support this mission. You have awesome giveaways. You have a super awesome chance of winning. I don't have many subscriber Patreons. And you also get access to the secret shop on my web shop, which gives you a lot of deals and crazy stuff on sale that, does never, that never makes it to the public shop. So that's something pretty interesting. And uh, you also support this channel. So yeah, well, that's it, guys. And I'll leave a link to everything down below. You can go ahead and check it out from the engine the R dal rc engine to the flight controller stack to this guy and um yeah should be pretty interesting and pretty cool and soon i'll have these on the shop for absolutely cheap uh just the complete stack here and uh it'll be pretty cool so keep checking that out and um yeah that's it guys i really hope you guys enjoyed it and i will see you next time see you guys take care